Well, I could tell you not 20 years from now, historically, the war on terror is part of history. I know my father, the young and only child in Guantanamo, is part of that history. What's the most important thing a Canadian citizen should, should think if they see Omar Carter walking on the street? Well, they could take many things out. They can say that justice doesn't come quick at times, but it does come, so long as you don't give up. And they, they can also say to themselves, if a, if a young boy, a young Canadian boy like this could be abandoned by all of us, then what do we live? What, do we, what kind of society have we left for our own children when we're fighting against a government, an intractable government with all the power? We're the only Western country that didn't request one of its detainees to return home. We left a child, a Canadian child, in Guantanamo Bay to suffer torture. And not only did we leave a child to suffer torture, but we, Canada, participated in this torture. Oh, you know, that is a question that gets asked in Guantanamo. I was asked in Guantanamo a number of times, why is Canada not doing something for this young man? You'd have to ask Mr. Harper. My view is very clear. Mr. Harper is a bigot. Mr. Harper doesn't like Muslims. Mr. Harper, I, I once said publicly to Mr. Harper, when you put your children to bed, mm -hmm. ask yourself whether you would like your children to have been abused like Omar Khadr. Mm -hmm. I followed that child as a grown man, and I keep here saying the mantra. It's perhaps it's also political. He wants to show he's tough on crime, and who does he pick up? A 15-year-old boy who's picked up and put in a hellhole of my I look forward to Omar Khadr letting the Canadian public see who he is, to challenge the lies of this government who have not allowed him to be seen or to speak to you media. But let me say to these guys, why don't they get a camera and sit with me and challenge me and show me just how stupid I am. Show, show me and prove to the Canadian public whatever I've said about Omar Khadr is not true. And I would like to ask them, why don't they talk about the truth? Why don't they talk about their own representatives from the Department of Foreign Affairs who went to Guantanamo over the years and provided written reports ordered by the court of which I have copies. And every one of those reports talked about Omar Khadr being a wonderful guy. And how about when we talk about committing a heinous crime? Why do we spend millions of dollars rehabilitating child soldiers along with the Americans in Sierra Leone? And yet we know that we had one. We had a a young boy, 15, dropped into, abandoned in a house with other Taliban people by his father, and we gave him no mercy. I would love to take that Mr. Blaney on, and perhaps he could learn some information. Omar Khan is not going to have a lengthy conversation with you. He's never been out, he's never smelled the fresh air, he's never seen the trees. Yeah. I'm going to go slow with him, but he's certainly going to, he needs to address the Canadian public. Yes. He's taken away right away. I haven't had the opportunity. I imagine that he's sitting down trying to believe this. I spent many years, whether it was in Guantanamo in a concrete cell, or whether it was in Millhaven, or whether it was in Edmonton Max where he'd been beaten up by a white supremacist within five minutes of arriving there, to always keep hope. And I, and I became tired of keep saying that same mantra. And so today, that has worked. And so I imagine he'll be, he'll be trying to understand, is this really true? And he will not really believe it until he gets picked up by me and given it up. Well, my wife has been cleaning the house for me. She's gone out and bought clothes for me. She has even stolen some clothes of my oldest boy who's in, in Asia. Huh? thinking that he will, this will fit. <laughs> she has every intention of giving him a good family meal. And so today is a wonderful day for justice. It's a start. And so and I thank the media and certain, certainly certain personnel here that over the many years have kept Omar Khadr's name alive. This is a short introduction. 
because at some point I will have all my cattle, not today, perhaps tomorrow, um, give a, have say something to the Canadian public through you. Of course, I am delighted, incredibly delighted. It's taken too many years to get to this point. It's such an irony that I started this journey from the U.S. Supreme Court to Guantanamo, then back into the federal court system in Canada, and, and, and take an Alberta judge to release Omar Khadr. I said we've done it. That's what I said. And, um, and he looked at me and I and, and, and knew I was coming to see him.